Christmas time is rugby time and this year it's the Domino's Derby Series when the Ospreys go back to back against the Scarlets. Join us now as we look ahead to the first leg which is at Parker Scarlets on Boxing Day. Ashley, you were back in action last Friday night in the Cardiff Blues game. Uh, how was it for you when you got on there? Oh, yeah, it was brilliant to be back. It's only so long you sort of sit down and watch the boys play without missing it. And you know, just to get back out there is great. And to get a win in the end is uh, been a great day. Yeah, a big win to start off the Christmas period. Um, put us in a, in a good frame of mind ahead of two games against the Scarlets. Yeah, I said you know when you come into the Christmas period, you play all the Welsh derbies and start off with a win away to the Blues. Puts us in good stead now to come up against the Scarlets twice. So you know. They'll be hurting a bit from that um, loss on the weekend where they were a bit unlucky, so it should be a good game. As a local boy who's grown up watching rugby in this area, these games, these local derbies must be something special to you. Oh, you know, they're great. You know, to play people across the bridge, you say the Lacquer Bridge, it's, um, you know, it's brilliant. And you're playing against boys you've met over the years. You know, it's a bit bigger than the derbies with Abraham and Neath now, uh, the, the games. So it's just nice to get out there and play, and hopefully, you know, we'll come up with the right result again. And hopefully we'll have big crowds in the two games, tickets are going well, so it'll be a special atmosphere worthy of the event as well. Oh, you know, I said, you know, you're always guaranteed with the derbies, big hitting game, you've got, you know, the skill level's good, so, you know, hopefully people come out, it's a good day out, so, Christmas and all, you know, you go out there and enjoy. The Scarlet's match has always been a very popular fixture for hospitality. We just want to let you know that we still have limited places in our black and white lounge. For just £59 per person plus VAT, you can enjoy the Derby Day with a two-course meal, premium West Stand seat and meet some of the players. It's a great way to start the new year. If you'd like to know more about the black and white lounge, visit our website or contact Sabi Jamal on 01792 616 507. Get out of the cold this January with private hospitality boxes which are still available for the Scarlet's and Northampton Saints matches. There is limited availability on these premium packages, but contact Sabi on 01792 616 507 to find out how you can still enjoy the January fixtures at the Liberty Stadium in real style. Chris, the dust has settled on a, a good win in Cardiff on Friday night. Uh, what's the reaction from the coaching team? Uh, we were a bit frustrated after the game that we felt uh, we were too loose at times uh, and allowed the Blues sort of uh, uh, to fluster us a little bit. And uh, it was when we had to then dig into and graft our way through a win. Uh, so ultimately, the, the points dictate uh, it's a pretty good uh, result for us. You know, as we said, it does help shape your seasons uh, picking up those type of games. But we realise we've got to up the ante now this week. Where was the game won and lost, do you think, without reflecting on it? Uh, clearly, uh, Dan Pick is putting points on the board consistently well. He's magnificent off the tee at the moment. Uh, but especially after a period in the first half where we were too loose, they scored the try, which was a cheap one to concede with a poor exit. After that, we knuckled down and put six good points on the board just going into half-time. And then the try just after half-time as well was a good period for us. Um, so that helped you know, obviously build the scoreboard. Uh, and then we held a bit of resolve in the last quarter to win the game. We look ahead now to Boxing Day and the first leg of the double header, Domino's Derby Series against the Scarlets. Uh, what's your thoughts looking ahead to that first game? Yeah, we're really excited going into it. It means a lot you know, to the players and supporters. And you can sense today it's a real short, sharp week with obviously uh, Christmas chucked into the middle. But today's a good focus day for us, uh, full day's training with uh, the forwards and backs getting a good bit of detail work done today. Uh, and a bit of intensity coming this afternoon, which I know the boys will respond to and hope you put in a good, a good place to, to walk through and clarify stuff tomorrow. Ready for, for Thursday in what should be a great encounter. And you expect to see a Scarlet team that's pretty angry after the way they lost on Saturday night in Munster, so it should make for quite a clash. Yeah, I think they're, they're playing reasonably well, you know, I think. Looking at their Clermont back to back, they were really competitive, and they, you know, certainly, you know, improved a, a tougher edge to their team. Uh, you know, set piece, they've uh, uh, got a bit of sharpness and understanding and cohesion in terms of what they're doing as a, as a team now around their set piece game. You know, so it does it does make them dangerous going down there. You know, but you're right. You know, coming off that one on Saturday, which would have hurt. You know, because they played so well again for, for the majority of that game. But you know, we just got to go there and do what we do, and uh, you know, try and continue that hurt.
How when you got the Derby series after a win on Friday night? How did you feel after the match? Uh, pretty content, I think. Um, in, in, all credit to the, the Cardiff; they put us under a lot of pressure at uh, um, you know a lot of a lot of parts of that game. Um, testing our scramble defence at times. Um, you know that we, we held out and showed a bit of experience in the end to just to close the game out. But there's a bit to work on, as there always is. But very happy to get the, the Derby season off to a good start. Some very difficult conditions in Cardiff on Friday night. Uh, so you had a artificial pitch underfoot, but the wind and the rain was causing a few problems. How do you feel the team coped with the, with the weather? Um, with regards to the scrums, I think both sides probably could have done a little bit better. There's no excuses with the, with the, the pitch uh, or a facility like that. Um, I think uh, looking back at it on, on the footage, I think uh, uh, the conditions probably be a, a bit misleading. But you know, credit to the fans that showed up in, in the wind and the rain. Um, especially the second half, the wind picked up and the, the posts were going a bit. Uh, credit to Pens and, and Biggs really for kicking the kicks that they did in the second half with the conditions like that. So it was, it was tricky, but like I say, um, pretty content with uh, grinding out the win and, and starting um, this time of derbies really well. And now we look forward to back-to-back -back fixtures against the Scarlets, the big, probably the biggest fixture in Welsh Regional Rugby. Uh, what's the mood in the camp looking ahead to those two games? Uh, obviously we've got, we've got a bit of confidence from the, the Cardiff win. Um, but it's the first time we'll have played um, them back to back at this time of year. Um, it's, it's almost like playing, a, uh, I suppose, a, a back to back series in, in your Heineken Cup pool. Um, but we haven't played them in the past. We've played them in some great games where we have a lot of rugby and some attritional games where there's, you know, not a lot of rugby. It's on the kickers and you know, it has the potential to go both ways, uh, especially if, if the conditions aren't, you know, suited to both sides. But we're building a bit of momentum, as you mentioned, the Cardiff came cast before that. Starting to find some form at a good time of the season. Yeah, I think um, the last couple of years where we've gone to playoffs or, or, or got to the final, or the, or the last few years where we got to the final or um, playoffs, uh, we usually come good at this time of year. And obviously, the key points when we're losing players at uh, international periods. So to do, you know, start. So to do a bit better this time of year is very good for us. Um, we're not taking anything lightly, you know, you've heard it all before at this time of year. Um, but you know, the next game is the Scarlet, so we're building towards that and hopefully we can build on the, the result from the Blues. That's all for now. Hope to see you at Parker Scarlet on Boxing Day and then for the return leg at the Liberty Stadium on Friday the 3rd of January.